pauvre dit pas bon. Il était une berge qui gardait ses moutons, ronron, qui gardait ses moutons. Tu vois, mon chéri, c'est la chanson que j'ai apprise quand j'étais petite. Quand tu étais petite comme moi, maman Oui, mon chéri, toutes les mamans, avant d'être grandes, ont été petites. Oh, elle était une si belle chanson. Vas-tu la recommencer une autre fois Oui, mais un peu plus tard. Parce que maintenant, je dois préparer le dîner. This is language. Oral communication between people. The mother and child are speaking French. Oh, that was fine. Did you know that was a song that Mommy learned when she was a little girl, just like you? Oh, that was such a nice song. Would you please sing it again? Yes, sweetie, I will. But not right now. Mommy has to start dinner for you and Daddy. Why don't you go... This is language, too. The situation is very much like the one just seen. The language is English. Here is a family speaking German. Darf ich was etwas Schönes haben, Vati? Was möchtest du denn haben? Ich möchte gerne ein Hündchen. Ich auch! The little girl asks her father for a small dog to keep as a pet. Na, was meinst du dazu, Mutti? Ist gut, aber wer besorgt dann das Hündchen? Bedeutet das mehr Arbeit für mich? Dann geht es nicht. The parents discuss ways of taking care of a small dog which the children want as a pet. This Japanese father and mother are discussing plans for a family picnic in the woods. Roam the wide world and listen to the language of people. Or search the airways with modern electronic devices like the shortwave radio. Here are the sounds of voices from places near and far. They're broadcasting weather reports. And in the northwest, warm and humid weather will cover the nation. Cielo medio nublado y temperaturas más frescas durante... This is a report in Spanish. Temperatura máxima de 21 grados. Vientos del norte y nordeste con velocidades de 25 a 30 kilómetros por hora. La zone de haute presión en el sudeste continúa de croître lentement. This is French. Las otras zonas de haute presión se desarrollan y se dirigen hacia el sud-sudeste. Entendido en el sur del pilar del día Arabic. Hindi. Indonesian. Suhu tertinggi 90-an derajat Fahrenheit. Angin dari selatan ke Tenggara. Japanese. Wherever people gather, they speak. The sounds of their language may be familiar or strange to the ears of other people, but to those who make these sounds, and to those in the group who hear them, the sounds have meaning. These men are speaking Yoruba one of the languages of Nigeria. They are discussing a proposal of their government which would help them wipe out a disease of the cocoa plant. What is language? Language is speech. And speech consists of sounds organized into a system for human communication. In all the communities of the world where human beings live, 
the urgent, vital means of communication between people is speech. Important events and trivial events are conducted through speech. But what is writing? Writing is not speech, but a record of speech through visible marks. Writing is only a partial record of speech. It does not contain some of the meanings which only speech conveys. A girl is writing a letter. This is what she means. Dear Bill, I'm sorry that I won't be able to go to the dance with you next Friday. Unfortunately, I have other plans for that evening. This is how it was read. Dear Bill, I'm sorry that I won't be able to go to the dance with you next Friday. The stress patterns, the tone of voice, the pauses which change meaning are part of speech, but not of writing. In everyday speech, the tone of voice or intonation communicates meanings. In this sentence, notice how the tone of voice changes meaning. What are we having for breakfast, mother? The meaning here is obviously ridiculous. What's intended is, what are we having for breakfast, mother? Here's a simple question. Are you going to school today? It is a casual question, requiring an ordinary yes or no answer. Nothing is especially emphasized. But listen to this. Are you going to school today? This implies that today is an odd or wrong day to go to school. It expresses surprise that anyone would think of going to school at this time. Speech is full of meanings which are communicated by tone of voice, stress, and pause. These we take for granted. Writing does not contain the special meanings which only speech conveys. Some languages have writing systems. Others have not. Throughout the world, there are some 5,000 different languages. The majority of them have never been written. Yet the absence of writing does not interfere with the function of a language as a means of communication between people. But many unwritten languages are not at all simple in their structure. Each language is suited to express its culture. In Shona, a Bantu language spoken in southern Rhodesia, there are some 51 words for different kinds of walking. Written in Roman script, the words would look like this. In Shona, the word for ordinary walking is kufamba. Walking with a stick as in old age, kudonjaira. Walking with a heavy load, kududura. Walking briskly, kukamanyika. Or kugadaira. Walking backwards, kudududza. Walking through underbrush, kupenzura. Walking through sand, kufekesheka. Walking quietly, kunyawaira, or kunyawaira. Walking aimlessly, kupaparika. The grammatical devices of Bantu languages are complicated too. There is a system of agreements of words within a sentence. For example, Vanavedu Vaduku Vaenda Kuchikoro Vasati Vajra. In English, this means our children went to school without eating. Because of the form of the main noun, vana, which means children, most of the other words in the sentence agree with this noun. If we change vana, meaning children, to the diminutive form, our small children, we have 
twana twedu tuduku twaenda kuchikoro tusati twajga this means our small children went to school without eating in human history writing is comparatively new dating back only several thousand years speech is probably as old as human society which goes back hundreds of thousands if not millions of years writing is one of man's most valuable inventions writing makes progress and civilization itself possible writing is a record of speech but speech itself is the primary form of language this is a scene in the country it's raining the chickens geese sheep and other animals like rain and the farmer needs rain let's listen to the description of the same scene in other languages this is french l'action se passe à la campagne il pleut les poulets les oies les moutons et les autres animaux aiment la pluie et le cultivateur en a besoin Here it is in Japanese. Kore wa inaka no keshiki desu. Ame ga futte imasu. Niwatori gachou, yagi, soshite hoka no doubutsu tachi wa ame ga suki desu. Soshite no mo ame ga hitsuyou desu. Why are languages so different? This is Spanish. La escena es en el campo. Llueve. A las gallinas, los gansos, las ovejas y otros animales les gusta la lluvia y el campesino necesita la lluvia why are common human experiences symbolized by sounds that vary so greatly from one language to another this is russian это сцена в деревне идёт дождь куры гуси овцы и другие животные любят дождь земледельцу тоже необходим дождь we don't know why languages are so different but only that they are different. This is Turkish. Bu köyde bir sahnedir. Yağmur yağıyor. Tavuklar, kazlar, koyunlar ve diğer hayvanlar yağmur istiyorlar. Ve çiftçiler de buna muhtaç. As far as science has discovered, these sounds are arbitrary and in themselves are only symbols. This is classical Arabic. هذا منظر في القرية. السماء تمطر. الدجاج والأوز والماشية والحيوانات الأخرى تحب الأمطار. كذا الفلاح يحتاج إليها. The way the sounds are organized to communicate meaning is different too. Let's take a simple example from the sentences just spoken. In English we say, it's raining. It is usually a neuter pronoun, but in this case does not refer to any noun. The construction, is raining, indicates action going on at the moment of speaking. In French, the expression, il pleut, can mean, it's raining now, at the time of speaking, or, it rains, that is, it rains habitually. There is no distinction made. Il is usually a masculine pronoun, but in this case does not refer to any noun. Yet the word for rain, la pluie, is feminine. In Japanese, the expression is The verb meaning falling is used only with rain, snow, or other forms of precipitation. It does not have the generalized meaning of the English word to fall, which can be used for any object dropping from a higher to a lower position. Aftemas. Means is falling, and emphasizes that the action is taking place at the time of speaking. In this respect, it is similar to English and different from French. In Spanish, llueve uses no noun or pronoun at all, 
but is just the third person singular of the verb meaning to reign. In Russian, the expression is Here the verb comes before the noun. The expression means comes rain. In Turkish, yağmur yağıyor means rain is raining. In classical Arabic, it is tam tur. This, like the Spanish, is just the third person singular of the verb to rain. But in Arabic, the third person singular has different forms for masculine and feminine. In this case, the feminine is used. All children, regardless of their background, walk more or less alike. They learn to walk naturally. But they do not talk alike. I'm going to get my pancakes ready. Oh, I need my toast. I need it. I don't think I'm going to be sorry. Because I'm sleeping overnight for 10 nights, and that'll be lots of fun. Rolls it to they learn their own language from native-speaking adults and other children who surround them in all their waking hours. These are Japanese children. They talk about insects and flowers they saw in the woods. Yukiko is singing a song about a firefly. How do children speak their different languages with such skill? It all starts in infancy. A child learns to listen before it can talk. It becomes aware of intonation. These intonations may indicate approval. Well now, aren't you a good little boy? How nice you look all washed and clean. The child responds with sounds of pleasure and satisfaction. The intonations of the mother may indicate disapproval. Oh my goodness, don't do that. Don't ever put that door key into your mouth. The baby responds with noises of disappointment, ending in crying. The young child tries to the best of its ability to imitate and reproduce the sounds related to its needs. Would you like a cookie? Cookie. Yeah. Cookie. Cookie. Did you want it? A cookie. A cookie. This is the voice of a one-year-old child. The young child tends to ignore the sounds that are not related to its needs. Ah, uh, sure was hot cutting the grass, trimming the hedges. Were you able to fix the driveway? Yeah, I got that too. You're a dear. Now, how about a dish of ice cream to help you cool off? Ice cream? Sounds real good to me. Ice cream. Ice cream. Well, look who's here. Ice cream. I didn't know you were here, honey. You're so quiet. Oh, just mention ice cream and you'll hear from her. Ice cream, mommy. Um, ice cream. All right, sweetheart, you'll get some, too. As the child grows older, it gradually learns to reproduce sound sequences it has heard, related to events beyond its immediate needs. Oh, what a nice doll. Will you tell your Uncle Bill when you got it? I got the dolly from Christmas. This is the speech of a four-year-old child. Do you have clothes for the dolly? And I got pajamas that have bears on it. What else did you get? We got a, um, a clock. You did? Not real, just play. You put it together. Sometimes my mom has to help me, but it's lost. Children understand and use language before they can read or write. These are the voices of preschool children I got a, a riddle for you. Why did chicken cross the road? I don't know. To get to the other side. <laughs>
Children do not merely reproduce language they have heard, they create as well. You're going to be the daddy. Oh, but we don't have a daddy. You be the Children daddy. constantly create new combinations and sequences. The, um, the little boy, okay? Well, I'll be the doggy. I'll be the doggy. No, it is difficult to detect the patterns children create until they make mistakes. Here are some expressions children frequently use. I've got new shoes on my two foot. They've got four tooths in his mouth. My dog, my dolly dog. Some of the so-called mistakes of children, like the use of foots for feet, and tooths for teeth, throat for through, are applications of regular patterns they have learned, like show, showed, snow, snowed. But in these situations, such patterns do not apply. Mistakes of this kind happen in all languages. By the time a child goes to school, he has mastered the fundamentals of his own language. He can talk, even though his vocabulary is limited. In school, he learns essentially to read and write, and to expand his vocabulary and the patterns. A learner's experience with his own language might be pictured as follows. In preschool life, he masters the basic elements of his native tongue namely its sounds and the way the words are put together. In other words, its grammar. He acquires a vocabulary that is limited, but suited to his needs. In school, he goes on with language development, learning to read and write. As he grows in interests and understanding, he expands his vocabulary. Beyond school life, he continues to speak his language, to read and write, and build up a vocabulary as his life requires. The adult, trying to learn a second language, does not remember how he learned his first language. He is unaware that he mastered the sounds and the organization of the sounds of his native tongue gradually and to a great extent unconsciously. To him, the important problem of the new language seems to be the words. This is a common error in language learning resulting in such performances as this. Then Gabriel blew his trumpet, who has just arrived at Chicago. The weather is bad all day. The sky is overcast and uh, when to us the sound system, pronunciation, and intonation are not English, but are carryovers of his own language patterns into English. An English speaker trying to learn a foreign language the same way produces an equally unsatisfactory result. Ancien collaborator du journal socialist, the humanité où il représente the element. For a language has more than words; it has a melody and rhythms and stresses that are peculiar to it alone. A language has a sound system and a grammatical system with which words are used to convey meaning. Both the Japanese and the English speakers were trying to begin a foreign language at approximately the same point they have reached in their native tongue. They overlooked the very foundation of language, generally laid in this earliest period. The process by which people learn their native tongue is important in modern language teaching. The area of preschool experience is provided for, since the foundations of language are laid then. Instruction begins at the beginning. But learning a second language is not exactly like learning the first one. The student cannot depend, as the child does, on games and chance experiences to teach him. I don't know where the telephone is. I don't know where the telephone. I don't know where the telephone is. I don't know where the where telephone is. Oh, I try once more. I don't know where the. He must learn economically and effectively. 
difficulties that arise from the language backgrounds of students become items of special emphasis in teaching. The objective of modern language teaching is to help the student form new language habits. Therefore, a great deal of drill is used. Sheep. Esteban? Sheep. 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 That's better. Cheek. Blanca. Cheek. 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 The whole class now. Heel. 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 Reading is used. So is writing. Read the introduction, please. Angel Luis. Fill in the blanks with they, I, and we. All right, now we do the first one, Mercedes. I want an orange. Very good. Number two, Ingrid. They want apples. Very good. Number three, Jose Antonio? We want bananas. That was very good. But the students read and write only what they had met through speech. Whether the learner is a young pupil in school or an adult preparing for an overseas assignment, he must practice the language correctly and constantly. <laughs> मैं अमरीकी दूतावास में काम करता हूँ। करता हूँ। करता हूँ। करता हूँ। करता हूँ। The use of modern electronic equipment makes practice more convenient and efficient. मैं अमरीकी दूतावास में काम करता हूँ। मैं अमरीकी दूतावास में काम करता हूँ। मैं अमरीकी दूतावास में काम करता हूँ। But meaningful practice need not depend on expensive equipment. The goal of modern language teaching is the building of a new set of language habits. Et voilà. Un, deux, trois. Trois livres. Très bien. Répétez après moi. Je cherche trois livres. Je cherche trois livres. Je cherche trois livres. Nous cherchons trois livres. Nous cherchons trois livres. Nous cherchons trois livres. Tu cherches trois livres. Tu cherches trois livres. Vous cherchez trois livres. Vous cherchez trois livres. Vous cherchez trois livres. There are carefully developed procedures which have proved effective. Some of them are new. Others have been used by the best teachers for a long, long time. These will be explained and illustrated in other presentations. The sounds of language, the organization of language, words and their meanings, modern techniques in language teaching. Really learning to speak a foreign language means trying to understand the social and cultural values in the new language. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Bonjour, madame. Comment ça va? Très bien. Assure-toi. Oh, merci. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Nous allons vous... Ah, je vais voir un film ce soir avec Fernanda. Tu veux venir avec moi? Oh, merci. Moi aussi, je veux bien aller. In this rich world of mass media of communication, there are many opportunities of studying these values. Speaking the foreign language, learning the life, the history, and the literature of its native speakers are ways that help communication and understanding among peoples who speak different tongues. How can we achieve the skills needed to communicate in the languages of other peoples? Modern research and experimentation can guide us.